What up, YouTube? Um, I'm going to show you, everyone, uh, my next PSA submission. PSA does quarterly specials, and one of the ones they're doing right now, uh, this is 2021, so the first quarter of 2021, is swinging 1960s baseball cards. So cards up to a value of $4.99 after they're graded for 8 bucks. I thought it'd be a good time to take advantage of the price as well as learn about uh, a part of the hobby that I really don't know that much about, 1960s baseball. Part of why I do cards is to learn about history, to learn about sports, and that's what I find fun. So you have to do 20 cards. Um, that's basically the only rule, and they need to be valued below $499. I picked up most of these cards for 10 to 18 bucks uh, raw. There was some I bought off Com C that didn't come in time, so thankfully I still had 20. Uh, Willie Mays, I thought this was pretty cool, especially uh, since it said home run. It's a card game. Some of them said like first base, second base, third base. The backs are pretty basic, but um, second one. Uh, I tried to do these in years, but I might not have them in quite the right year. Minimoso. I'm probably saying that wrong. I didn't realize how. Uh, Jack the back is when I bought this so bad on me. I think I was just focusing on price here uh, I'll go ahead and get it graded and for eight bucks. I'm okay with it St. Louis too. I picked up a decent amount of St. Louis players because I am from Missouri So my baseball team is the Cardinals 62 uh, I thought these cards were really cool um, It's like Batting leaders, home run leaders, uh, they had all sorts of ones. Uh, so on the front of this, you'll see Hank Aaron, which was a big one for me. Frank Robinson, that's a big guy. Uh, these are all. Um, but then on the back, I thought this would just be cool to have in my collection. It shows you the batting averages for the National League that year. To kind of give you an idea, just see where everyone was at. Are leaders Sandy Koufax? Uh, his cards are really popping right now. Don Drysdale, I know him, and then the same thing back here. You can see why Koufax was so feared. And then one of my favorite cards this is 1963, I believe. Uh, Ernie Banks and Hank Aaron on the same card, just really cool to me. Tells a little story. Picked up two of these. This one's in a little better shape. These were over the twenty dollar mark, like twenty to thirty bucks. But I'll just probably keep the better grade of the two and sell the other one. Hank Aaron uh, did pass away. I picked this up before he passed away, so I was wanting to collect his cards. Um, nothing to do with his death. I just, to me, he's the true home run leader. Uh, some of the other guys kind of stole it from them. They used roids. Uh, a lot of debate, but to me, he kind of always will be um, until there's another natural hitter that doesn't. Um, so I was kind of lucky. I picked up most of these uh, before he passed away, and then because after he passed, there was kind of a premium. Ernie Banks. Just thought this was a really stylish card. Two of those. You can see this is really creased there. Uh, so this will be probably a PSA 1. Which is okay. Because when you look at it, it looks fine. It's just... Frank Robinson. I believe this is the 1967 set. Uh, and I just really like the look of the set. So I was picking up some of these.
on the 1967 Ernie Banks. Did two of those. Sunday here, so I'll probably send this in on Monday. I thought these were really cool. Drink a little Viognier, one of my favorite white wines, if I do this. I actually got two of these. This one's more off-center, left to right. Blue Brock, Hall of Famer, Cardinals. Two of those. So I just sell the other company that doesn't get it as good as grade. Keep the other one probably for myself. Hank Aaron. Looks like it's faded color wise from the light. Um, so I'm not sure how they'll mark down on that. I'm guessing most of these are like threes to fours. I'm guessing probably more in the three range. And then with the creases and stuff, I'd be surprised to see some ones and twos. Uh, Baby Ruth Card. I think this is like 68 or 69. Um, I just thought it was cool that there's a cool looking Baby Ruth card in the 60s and kind of found it. I looked at a lot of cards on Comp C trying to figure out what. I wanted to buy and send in, and then most of the purchases were off of eBay. Um, and these came out of Life magazines. I used to collect Life magazines and flip them on eBay. That's kind of where I learned about eBay and everything that goes on in eBay. And then, uh, so there's one with, um, I forget who's on the cover now. I should have pulled it out and showed you guys which one it comes out of. Most of the time the cards have been pulled, but you get two cards in there. And I probably paid 20 bucks for the magazine. So you can pull the cards and then keep the magazine if you still want. It's got a Liz, famous actor from the 60s. I should have pulled it before the video, but oh well. These are in really bad shape, but... Um, and then the back is just, but they made a set of them. So you probably will have these cards back in a year, uh, and I'll, I'll do the reveal. A lot of times I don't show the pre because I think I know what I'm doing, but I, I probably don't. So I like to kind of hide a little bit what I'm buying. But once I get things back, I'll show them to everyone on YouTube. Thanks, everyone. Have a great Sunday.